Hi everyone. So I want to tell you about my upcoming course, Create Aligned Offers. And uh, it's about effective pricing, service structure, and sales pages for attracting your ideal clients, getting them to enroll. Um, so what is an offer? <laughs> Let's begin there. An offer is your service or package or program or product. Essentially, it's your skills and your energy signature packaged into something that your clients can buy or enroll into. That's an offer. And an offer is also the lifeblood of a business. Um, without offers, maybe you have content, which is wonderful. You post free videos and blog posts, and um, maybe you're connecting with other people through net caring. And those are all wonderful ways of creating more, um, more of an audience, right? More of a network. But, you know, as you create an audience and a network, what are you going to offer them that they're actually interested in buying? So this course will help you to select among the options what you could sell, select that, and then package it together into a, essentially what's deliverable at the end of the course is you'll have a sales page, a web page that describes what your offer is. What is the, well, you know, what kind of person it's for? What is the service or package or program being offered? What's the price? So we're going to work on pricing in this course as well. Now, um, one thing I've noticed from a lot of solopreneurs is that you probably aren't making enough offers. You're, you aren't creating enough options for people to choose from to say, well, I, I want to buy this from you because it's really interesting to me. And this other thing they're not going to say anything about because they're not interested in it. I find that a lot of solopreneurs have, have that problem. They've, they've worked so hard to create one offer. And maybe they've done a good job. I don't know. But a lot of times there's not enough clients for that one offer. And they think, well, I, to get more clients, I need to do more marketing of this one offer. And sure, some additional marketing might be helpful. But still, it's mark the the distribution the outreach or advertisement of your offer is an amplifier of the value of the offer, how aligned it is with what the market wants, what your clients are most interested in. It's an amplifier. Again, your marketing, your advertisement, your outreach, your networking about your offer is an amplifier of the value of the of the core value of the offer and what's an amplifier meaning let's say you let's say something is worth five okay this thing is worth five points if you amplify it by 10 times now it's worth 50 points but if something is worth zero you can amplify it by a thousand and the resulting value is still zero and that's what that's unfortunately what I see a lot of solopreneurs do is they are they worked so hard on one offer that it's they become ossified about just this one thing. They think that, oh, I just have to get more eyeballs, more traffic to this one offer and then it'll do well. Well, maybe, but oftentimes it's not the case. Oftentimes you have to make this offer better. And the way to make the offer better is the first select among different options that you could offer. This is something we're going to discuss in the course. By the way, I should mention that this course, Create Aligned Offers, is a natural follow-up, follow-on, the next step to my previous course, which is called Authentic Market Discovery. You can sign up for both together if you want to. In fact, if you, if you sign up for this course, Create Aligned Offers, you get a deal for signing up for the other one as well if you wish to. But Ideally, you, you, have a dis, you have a process for market discovery first, meaning you have a process for talking to your potential clients and your past clients or your, your, your friends and colleagues who can channel the mindset of your potential clients. Ideally, you have a process for talking to them, asking questions, and letting them tell you the issues that they most need support with, not issues that you come up with yourself they're actually giving you the language. That's what market discovery is for. They're telling you the issues and the language of the issues. 
right? And also some of the solutions they've been trying and hasn't been working or what's working well, what's not working. So you learn a lot about the market. What, what, do they, what pain do they care about or goal do they care about or experience that they want to have? And once you've done market discovery through conversations and through polling, then you have the top options for issues. And those top issues, you can then turn into a very valuable offer that's aligned with what they've already told you that they want. They have a particular issue or set of issues, your potential clients. And then here are the blocks they have towards working to resolve those issues or to have the experience that they want or to have the growth that they want. Here are all the diff various blocks. You need to discover what those blocks are. They'll tell you, well, you'll do some brainstorming. Maybe you could even work with you know, AI chatbots like ChatGPT to, to further brainstorm what the blocks are from where they are currently to the experience they want to have, the growth that they want to have, the problems that they want to have solved. There are a number of blocks along the way and if you can clarify those blocks, that's what we're going to do in this course, create aligned offers. If you can clarify those blocks and then transform them into the elements of your offer, okay, that you can, you can reasonably and in a grounded way say, yes, I will help you work through these blocks on your way from here to where you want to go, then that's a valuable offer. And of course, pricing it in a way where they're like, wow, that's a great deal even though it's also a great deal for you. So that's what effective pricing is. It has to be a great deal for both parties. They feel like, well, given the value of this offer, this is a very good price. And you're like, yeah, I'm happy to take you on at this price as well. And part of your offer design means you also have to clarify the boundaries of how much time you're spending with clients, how much time you're spending like meeting with them, thinking about them, preparing for them, following up, all those things we're going to work out in this course. Um, I call that service structure. What is, uh, we're going to work out how, the various elements of your offer, how much time you're spending on each thing, and therefore what price makes sense for you to charge. And also we're going to do a bit of polling on the pricing or some, some feedback um, amongst the, the, the other students in this course, fellow solopreneurs, because the the, one of the biggest elements for pricing well is, well, what does the market understand to be the right price range? Which is why it's so helpful to connect with other solopreneurs to find out what the price ranges are at this time. And then you can situate yourself, position your offer in the appropriate price range that feels like a great deal for you and a great deal for, for your clients. Um, so let me do two more things before I finish up this video. One is, uh, let me tell you, uh, I, I will tell you the six parts to this course so you can have a sense of what we're going to be working on. But then before that, I want to just mention, I really hope whether or not you take this course, that you are creating and gently launching, gently launching offers on a regular basis. Like I said, the typical pitfall of most solopreneurs is they get ossified into this one offer. Maybe they worked with a marketing coach to create this wonderful you know, website and wonderful offer. And then they're like, well, now I got to do a bunch of ads and advertising because not enough people are buying it. Well, maybe if you've already gently launched it to your network and not enough people are buying it, that's already a very, that's to me, it's a big red flag that the offer probably isn't well designed. We need to work on that first because um, yeah, almost, almost, almost all the time when I see offers that don't work, it's not because you're not doing enough advertising or not because you're not getting enough traffic. It's the offer itself isn't well designed, isn't aligned with the market. The service structure is going to be too much of a burden on you. The price isn't right. There's just different things, which is why we need to work on the offer first before we go out and do advertising and networking and all that stuff. Okay. So. This is why I encourage you to do, well, this is what I do. So I encourage you to do what I do, which is to be gently launching a different offer, you know, throughout the year. So just to give you a sense of it, I have launched an average of 10 offers a year for the last 15 years. 
So more than 150 offers by this point that I've, that I've created and, and launched from one-on-one -on -one coaching services to small group programs, to larger group membership programs, to um, courses, obviously lots of courses, to uh, you know, one-time workshops, to retreats, um, to coaching packages. Uh, I've launched all of these uh, in different formats. And so 150 offers later, I am now going to give you my best guidance on how to create an effective and aligned offer, hopefully saving you a lot of heartache and headache and time and energy. I think, I think this course is a really good deal for, for packaging all that experience together to, to offer to you in a cohort format where you get to connect with others who are taking this course or who have taken this course. Some of you are watching this maybe even years later and you're taking the course you know, on your own or you know, after I've, my, my live cohort has ended, you can still sign up for this course and take the course and still you know, contribute, participate in the, um, the comments underneath the lessons and then others who took the course earlier uh, will sometimes, often reply and you, know, you can continue connecting with other students of the course. So, um, so what I, my, my point here is that if you aren't creating and launching a number of offers each year, you are not giving yourself the due diligence of finding the alignment between your skills, your energy signature, and what your market wants at this time. It is not just about creating one amazing offer and then you're set for life. Sometimes that happens, but ultimately it's about having a method for creating an offer lightly. I always believe in working lightly. So notice when I, when I, I said gentle launch, my, creating, my offer creation system is also quite a light system that continually works with other human beings and also works with AI. If you are open to that, you don't have to, but works with continually. It's an iterative process of okay, working lightly myself to brainstorm something getting feedback, which is why it's helpful to have a community of other students in this course to get feedback from working lightly, getting feedback, going back to the drawing board, working, developing that some more or developing a different idea, getting feedback back and forth. So work lightly, launch gently, multiple offers a year so that you can test your market, your existing audience. It doesn't matter if you have only have a few fans. Okay. All of us, even if you don't have social media, okay, all of us have a network of dozens of people at the very least. Every time I do this exercise, people are surprised. If you start making a list of names of people who know you, who would respond to you, that's the key, people who would respond to your email or your private message if you message them, okay, um, you'll probably come up with at least 150 names. Look at your email address book. Look at your Facebook friends, look at your LinkedIn contacts and on and on and on. Look at maybe you have a spreadsheet, maybe you have a document of names, but you, all of us, no matter if you have no social media, you already have a network of friends, colleagues, acquaintances, supporters, for some of you past clients, current clients, perhaps. And if you, if, so all of us have a network and if your network isn't excited, about your offer, they're, are, they're not buying it or they're not referring people to, to it, it means you still have an opportunity to create a more aligned offer. Really, when you create an aligned offer, your network should go on fire about it. They will be buying it, they'll be referring people to you, and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I, I barely need to do ads or, or of course, that always amplifies things and helps get more people, but you can clearly tell when an offer is aligned with the market versus one that's mediocre that you always feel struggling with. So this is why you need a number of offers per year, gently launching different things. So you can notice, like I said, I, I launch on average 10 per year and out of my 10 per year, not all of them go wild and you know, do really well with signups. No, I would say out of 10 per year, usually two to maybe four, if I'm lucky, but two to four, okay, I would say three to four per year out of 10 do really well, really well. Like, like, okay, I don't have to launch anything else for the rest of the year. Sometimes even two or three 
I, I'm, I'm done for the rest of the year. I, I don't need to launch anything. I, I keep trying though. Like I said, I, I launch an average of 10 because I want to keep testing the market. I want to keep learning from this iterative process what is more aligned between my skills, my energy signature, and what my market wants uh, to buy. Okay, so that's my encouragement to you. Whether you take this course or not, please create different offers every year, gently launch them, and that's one of the things we'll do. So let me, let me briefly talk through quickly what the six things are. You can read this below uh, if you want to, but the six modules cover, number one, we're going to start with a bigger picture and craft you know, what I call your soulful service statement. So um, I sometimes say you don't have to niche yourself, but you must niche your offers. You have to get the more specific you can be about each offer, the more likely it's going to do well. But your overall personal brand and your overall website and like what you could offer, you can keep it relatively general yet soulful. So we're going to just start with first module to kind of get that going. I have a separate course called Describe What You Do, which goes even more deeply. But at least we will, we will create a statement that allows you to see an umbrella picture of what your offerings might be. Okay, so kind of nice to kind of start there and see a bigger picture of things. And then we get into selecting among all the umbrella, selecting one niche um, that you will create an offer for. Okay, and so if you've done the market discovery course, or you could do it at the same time, either way, it will be helpful because you've, you've already done a bunch of that work and you can select something. But regardless, I think, you know, working through our process here, you'll be able to select a niche that you'll focus on for an offer to work with for the rest of the course. Module number three, then now we're going to design a high value offer based on the service structure, based on the blocks that people have from here to where you want the offer to get them to, all the middle steps that is needed for them to go, wow, you're gonna get me there using these steps? I feel, I feel good about that. Okay, so we're gonna clarify that. And then module four, we're gonna talk about pricing, where we will take your service structure and find a price that is reasonable and that's aligned with um, the market and with what um, people are likely to, to say it's a great deal. Okay, so pricing with confidence and then module number five, we're gonna put all that together into a sales page, a web page that you can then present to the world and say, hey, here's my offer, okay? And then uh, number, uh, module number six, we're gonna work on gentle launching of your, your sales page, but essentially your offer. We're gonna talk about how to do that um, in a light and effective way. So if this interests you, if this sounds like a series of steps that would be helpful for you to learn, to optimize, and to have a system for, well, then I invite you to join me and to join us for the course and work together with other solopreneurs on creating your offers. Thank you so much for being here, and I look forward to seeing. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know as well. Thanks.